the Missouri National Guard one-on-one. -on -one. Missouri National Guard, always ready, always there. Hi there, Mizzou fans. I'm Lauren Holman with the Mizzou Network, and I'm coming to you from on the road in Duluth, Georgia, at the Gwinnett Center, where the Missouri women's basketball team is practicing before their matchup against Mississippi State Wednesday. Coach Pinchton took some time to talk with me about what the Tigers are going to have to do in order to be successful in the postseason. Coach, you know, we're now into postseason. How are you guys mentally preparing? You've been on the road on Sunday, now you know on the road again. What are you guys doing to get ready? I tell you what, it's been a little bit of a tough stretch. Um, you know, just with our, our travel issues at Arkansas and got delayed uh, getting back and quick turnaround, had about a couple hours to unpack our bags and repack. And, you know, I just think it was really key that we had a chance to come in last night and kind of catch our breath today. But it's an exciting time of the year. You know, you, you start postseason play and it's almost like a third season. You've got the non-conference schedule uh, and then you move on to conference play. And when that's done, obviously everybody's records go out the window and you start all over again. And so you got a fresh start. And, you know, I feel like our kids have had great resiliency all year long. Um, they've continued to um, play at a very high level. We've had some great wins. We've had some tough losses. Uh, I think we've proven that we can play with anybody in this league. And so now it's a chance to just regroup as a team, get focused one game at a time. you got to win to advance. And um, I think as players and, and as a coaching staff, too, it's just such a fun time of the year. It's a, it's a new atmosphere. It's a new feel. And uh, I think we've learned a lot of lessons along the way and we're looking forward to hopefully making a run in a tough SEC tournament. What do you think it's going to take in order to make that run? You guys have already played Mississippi State earlier in the year, so how do you mentally prepare for something like that? Well, it's absolutely just one game at a time, and I think that's all you can focus on is controlling what you can control, and, and that's the effort, uh, the toughness that you play with night in and night out. And against a Mississippi State team, uh, we've got a lot of respect for them, uh, some tremendous athletes. Uh, you know, defensively, they really get after you. They're going to challenge us, uh, not only in the full court and the half court, so we're going to have to take that court and with great toughness, supreme confidence. Um, you know, our attention to detail in regards to how we're uh, guarding personnel is going to be so key. Uh, Got to have, you know, be first to the four for those 50-50 balls. Got to do a great job of, of um, on our box outs and not allowing second and third shot opportunities. I think in tournaments like this at a neutral site, you know, offensively, uh, you never know how your kids are going to come out. And so it goes back to the old cliche, defense and rebounding wins championships. And how excited are you? Brie Coolis and Liana Doty were recognized with SEC honors. How exciting is that as we head into this postseason? Oh, it's just such an honor for those girls. And, um, you know, you look at Leanna Doty to be named the Scholar Athlete of the Year in the SEC. What a tremendous accomplishment. And she's just, uh, she does so many great things for our program in the community, in the classroom, on the court. Really, really proud of her. Uh, Well-deserved honor. Brie Coolis, it was um, honestly a, a pretty emotional award for her, uh, for all of us, because of, you know, the growth that we've seen in Brie. We understand the, the caliber of competition that she's up against and to be recognized as one of the best uh, of the best in a very very good league I think the best league in the country I just think it speaks volumes about the the respect that people have for her and so um, what what an extremely prestigious award for her to have received but you know I think Brie um, Leanna you know they'd all say it's, it's just been the same thing all year long with this group there's so much about the front of the jersey uh, it's a group that's been all in all season long their work ethic their um, their discipline, their resiliency. Uh, I think they'd say this is a great accomplishment for our team and it gives a chance to again give some recognition to the University of Missouri. The Tigers take on 13th ranked Mississippi State Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. Eastern. The game will be aired on Fox Sports South. For the Mizzou Network, I'm Lauren Holman.